Forsake me not, O Lord my God. Be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Today's Mass is being offered for Reverend Hubert E. Desmond. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, we are the circumcision, we who worship through the Spirit of God, who boast in Christ Jesus and do not put our confidence in flesh, although I myself have grounds for confidence even in the flesh. If anyone else thinks he can be confident in flesh, all the more can I, circumcised on the eighth day of the race of Israel, the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrew parentage, in observance of the law of a Pharisee. In zeal, I persecuted the church. In righteousness, based on the law, I was blameless. But whatever gains I had, these I have come to consider a loss because of Christ. More than that, I even consider everything as a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. The word of the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds, glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Let the hearts rejoice who seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, 
sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. But hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, this man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy and upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman having 10 coins and losing one would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Many, many people are not aware that today is a very special day. A new universe was created many years ago. Today is a day that we celebrate the newness of a man <coughs> who was born. Before we couldn't see him, but now we can. And this man that we celebrate today is John Fabiano. Happy birthday, John. <laughs> How old are you? 79? Wow, that is impressive. Hats off to you, sir. We see in the first reading today, St. Paul almost bragging about what a sinner he is. but he experienced a great conversion. And that is a good thing for all of us to remember. Jesus tells a parable today that seems kind of strange. And really, both those stories seem strange when you hear them. The first one is talking about the lost sheep and leaving the 99 to find one. But a shepherd would never do that. The shepherd would never leave the 99 and go in search of one sheep. He wouldn't abandon his entire flock to go looking for one sheep to bring back to the flock. It seems like a, a crazy story about a, a crazy person. What shepherd would really do that? 99 is a good amount to have in a flock, and if one sheep goes away and is lost, then so be it. Why would you leave the 99 to scatter? Why would you go in search of the one and forget about the 99 and celebrate over the one lost sheep? It's going to become a poor shepherd if he does that kind of a practice. And the story of the woman with the coins is also a bit odd. She is searching for her one coin and <clears throat> then she has a party over finding this one coin. It seems like the coins that she had before were more worth more or more valuable compared with the one. And so Jesus is saying in the gospel that if you are not a sinner, then you don't need me. You're not valuable. But if you are a sinner, if you are lost, then you are of great worth. And I love you all the more for being found. And speaking personally, I know that I'm an awful sinner. And that's good news for me in thinking about this. And for all of you, if you are not a sinner yet, you have some work to do. <laughs> but if we really look inside ourselves, we will know pretty quickly that we are sinners. And so we should do that work of searching for our sins, and trying to find out the things that are wrong with ourselves. And we will find them. There's many things that are wrong. And when we find that out about ourselves, God rushes to us with his great love. He rejoices with us. He embraces us. God has a crazy kind of love. And we thank God for that. It's true. And so let us be like St. Paul and recognize that we are sinners. Let us pray.
for the Pope's monthly intention that all parents who mourn the loss of a son or daughter find support in their community and receive peace and consolation from the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. For Archbishop Richard Henning, that he makes a successful transition in his role here at the Archdiocese of Boston. We pray to the Lord. For our political leaders, that they heed the calling of God to build a culture of life from natural conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. For all of us who hunger for meaning and purpose in our daily lives, that our needs will be satisfied by turning to Jesus, the living bread. We pray to the Lord. for all the soldiers on active duty and the first responders, that their duties be fulfilled with courage, hope, and strength, nourished by Jesus, the living bread. We pray to the Lord. For those being held hostage, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, that they be strengthened by the hope of the Lord's resurrection. We pray to the Lord. For world peace, especially conflicts in the Middle East and in Russia, Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. And for our beloved who have gone before us, may they find a new home in the mystery of Christ's passion, death, and resurrection. We pray to the Lord. And we remember Reverend Hubert E. Desmond, for whom this Mass is being celebrated. We pray to the Lord. Almighty God, we thank you for hearing and answering our prayers according to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and resurrect and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels, and all the saints. We declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you, come you come again. again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Richard, our Bishop, Robert, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mass on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may marry to be coherent eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from me deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With the Spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O oh Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that, renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.